You're welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. It's time to go to Doha, Qatar and see what's going on at the IWF World Championships. And after seven days of action, Nigeria has finally produced a finalist. We're talking about Chikwebuka in Nekwechi. That's in a short put uh, event, uh, shall I? It's taken seven days uh, for Nigerian uh, to get into the final, not to win a medal, just to get into the final. Into the final. And uh, it was uh, Chikwebuka, the African champion, uh, who has lived up to expectation because going into this uh, competition a lot was expected uh, of him he's broken several national records uh, but we know when it comes to the world stage uh, it's a different ball game uh, entirely in this particular uh, qualifying uh, Chukwe Buka was able uh, to throw a mark of 20.94 to secure his place uh, uh, in the final he needed uh, the qualification mark was 20.90, so it's gone further with 0.4 uh, yeah. right there. And uh, to secure his place in the final line, it's looking good for him. If you want to think about this guy, as uh, a second championship, uh, last time out in 2017, uh, he didn't get to the final. So you'd say this is progress, although uh, I can see you're shaking your head. <laughs> and um, perhaps you're one of those that think and feel this is nothing to celebrate. To be honest, um it's a two-way street. I'm glad, glad that finally Nigeria has made it at least to this stage where mm. we might be able to get a medal. It's been a while. Mm. 2013. Yeah, you know. So I'm glad that he's done this, you know. But we just need to keep our fingers crossed. There are no guarantees. No guarantees. It's, it's, it's a field event. Some funny guy from somewhere can just throw one. Uh, sure, and that's it. You get so I, I, we, we'll root for him. We'll pray for him. We hope that we we we're able to, we're, we're able to get a medal. Mm. But this is where it pains me the most mm. that we really don't prepare well for these tournaments. And year in year out, tournament after tournament, where our hopes are raised right. and dashed, and it's no fault of the athletes. No way you're gonna blend them. This Chukwe Buka guy, go check out his training. Mm. He's on his own. You get all of these guys are really like trying. a lot of athletes. Yeah, they yeah. are just because they love Nigeria and they got the green, white, green, you know, flowing through them and all of that. So we'll pray for him and pray that he gets something. But like, we can't stop to think about all the other athletes that are falling short, mm. and due to no fault of theirs, largely due to the fact that we are not prepared. You know, we like this last minute thing and the fire brigade approach to things, you know. Mm. So why should we be celebrating when the people with Nigerian blood winning medals for, for other countries, other countries right. you know? Mm. All right, then. It's, so, it's really very painful. Yeah, but we wish uh, Chukwebuka all the best. All uh, the best. Uh, the final is on Saturday and uh, you never know. It's a final. Anything can happen. Anything, Anything can, can happen. happen. Remember how um, just Choma. one... Choma. It was just one jump. One leap. <laughs> And she took the leap of faith, <laughs> you know, and that was it. You that get. was it. No so, one saw Chema winning gold. And that's why I like field events because you exactly. have three attempts or five attempts. Multiple attempts. Just one. Mm. It's just one that goes across the mark and hey, that's it. Medal <laughs> right there, you know. So let's keep our fingers crossed and pray that um, <sighs> at least he comes out with a medal that Nigeria's mm. name will not get on the table. Mm. Regardless of where it is, some other countries have struggled. Great Britain struggled until recently before they got their first gold right. and all of that. Yep. And they're bigger than us when it comes to athletics. So mm. I'm not saying it's an excuse. I'm just saying that it's tougher now, and you know it's only the best guys out there that would uh, get medals. All right. And so all the best to uh, Chukwe Buka and Nekwacha. Nigerians, of course, will be uh, in action today as well. So and everyone is looking forward to um, Saturday when to blow about Amoshan will, you know hit the tracks in the 100 meters hurdles. Uh, but before then, on day eight, uh, by 5.40, 6.49 p.m. today, you're gonna have the relays. Uh, the women's are four by 100 meters uh, relay where African championships and African games champions, Nigeria will be uh, up against multiple world champion Jamaica and London 2017 world silver medalist, Great Britain. And by 7.14 p.m. later today as well, the men's four by 100 meters Kids uh, will uh, parade African Championships and African Games silver medalists, that's Nigeria, uh, going up against London 2017 World Bronze Medalist Japan and Rio 2016 Olympics Bronze Medalist Canada. So, shall I ask the relays? And the relays can be very, very tricky. Um, let's start with the 
Oh, four by hundred women. women. This is another good opportunity for us to <laughs> at least get a medal. You get, but it's a tough field. It's a very tough field. Right. Uh, the Jamaicans are most likely guaranteed to finish on the podium. Mm. You get Great Britain too might make it to the podium. I don't know if you know. If, if, Let's if, talk if about Nigeria's like, chances of getting but, into the final. But we have a good team. We have a good team, and if everything goes well, because these days now you just hold your breath. Oh, it's probably one technicality or some drop button or, mm. or some registration goes wrong or something, you know. So I am really not that eager until I see them in the finals. Then we know that, okay, we will actually get a medal. But we do have a good team. A very good team. We and that good team. team. Yeah. And that team, uh, one of the, the, the most prominent, uh, you'd say, member of that team is Blessing Okar Barry. And you've, you've followed Blessing, her performances Blessing has, so far. She has the experience. She yeah. has everything going for her. You know, and she's had a very good uh, season, especially uh, in, in the Diamond League and right. all of that. I pray decent. that translates to, you know, she, yeah, it's, it's decent. But are you not worried that, I mean, in recent times now, I mean, in the last two outings uh, for Nigeria, uh, she's uh, been disappointing, let's put it that way. She had a false start at the African Games in the finals. Uh, then in the 200 meters uh, hit, uh, there was a lane violation that led to her disqualification. Those were the things I was referring to earlier when mm. we started talking. I said, based on technicalities, mm. I'll, I'll hold my breath because mm. you don't know how these things will pan out, you know. So if everything goes right, and I'm happy that at least they're not really involved in the individual races and all yeah. of that. So hopefully they've been training, you know, right. doing all their transitions and everything yeah. so that at least we can get there. But we need to be fair to Blessing Okagbari when there was no one else out there in the world of athletics for Nigeria. She was, she was the representing. one. She was the one carrying the flag. She, and she's done a good job for us. And I'm glad with the kind of talent that's coming through. Hopefully, we can mix it up. Because all of this now is, we should we need to start focusing on the Olympics. Mm. But fingers crossed again, this ladies, we have a good team. Yeah. This ladies can do it. If anybody else can get us medals, uh, apart from a uh, man in the uh, field event, yeah. uh, it's, um, it's a it's four, a, by it's four by hundred women's women. relay. All right, then let's uh, go to the guys now. The guys will also be in action uh, today, led by possibly Divine Odudu, uh, who didn't do too well in the 200. And um, let's look at the composition of the four by you know, one men. There's Divine, uh, there's Shea Ogunlewe, um, there is um, Shakiri Sherishe as well. Uh, there's Raymond the Kevo. I mean, individually, these are really good uh, sprinters, uh, but as a team, uh, we saw them at the African Games. Uh, they managed to finish second. They yeah. were beaten by Ghana. Yeah. And that was a very painful very uh, one painful. to take. Always uh, painful when but, it's Ghana. <laughs> when it's Ghana. But they somehow, you know, did enough to qualify uh, for the World Championship. What are you expecting uh, from them? Share, amazing athletes. Very fast on his day. Will take anybody on. You get uh, Orisha also. Has a, he's, he's had some good races, you know, in Absolutely, recent times. Yeah. And all of that. And divine. You know, I don't know who's going to be the anchor. I don't know who's going to run the last leg. Because yeah. it's always very important how you start and how you finish. Absolutely. You know? Every step of the way is important. But we, what, what we want now is the person who can actually bring it home. I am excited that Shea and Divine are in the same team. Mm. You know, these are very fast guys. But this is the world stage. This is not Africa. There are other countries out there that we need to be very, very wary of. Mm. <laughs> the U.S. is there. Of course. Jamaica is there, right. you know. So... Uh, Canada also seem to be uh, on the rise, you know, especially in this particular event. Of course, so, they've got, Canada have got uh, the grass, uh, who's won the silver uh, in the, the 200. Yeah. Exactly, so. they've got Aaron Brown as well, so he's got to a couple of finals as well. So it's going to be a packed... Uh, it, will, it will be tight, it will be tight. But, you know, let's not write them off. Anything nope. can happen, mm -hmm. Any. Thing can happen. The, but, thing, the thing about relays is, uh, I mean, uh, it's all well and good if you have your fantastic individual talents, right? Well, you must work as a team. You have to come together as a team and you have to execute properly. Yeah. yeah we've seen Especially over. Especially the transitions, you know, the, the baton the exchange, exchange, exchange yes, is very where important. The work is at, you know, <laughs> to know when to start and get your baton and yeah. move on to the next one and everything. Mm. You know, but I, I, the coaching crew should have uh, sorted out those kind of things by exactly. now. Exactly, that's why you know, they're there. They should have sorted yeah. it out by now. And oh. let's just pray that the lads will also bring something up because it's been a long time. Mm. It's been ages. The last time Nigeria won our uh, medal was uh, the 2013 World Championships uh, that was in Moscow.